everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be participating in the Oops I Did It Again Challenge. It's hosted by my friends Amanda of Six Kids and a Glue Gun, Brenda of Rustic and Lace, and Chantel of Crafty Hints. I'll have the links to each of their channels in my description box below, as well as a link to the awesome playlist. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Our first project today, I'm going to be doing, I made a fall in love sign back in September, and I'll have the link to that in my description box below as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made that sign, and we're going to make it better for spring. What you're going to need is 11 of the one gallon paint stir sticks. And then these are some of the jumbo popsicle sticks that I've just cut the ends off of to make them square. And you can use as many of these as you feel you need. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick out our design. And the design I want to use today is for spring. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the spring is in the air. And that is for the month of April. And this is the 2022 calendars from the Dollar Tree. I'll have the links to these below as well. I did buy them offline. and do this right here and you don't have to be perfect with this because we're going to be cutting on this as well okay now I'm going to set this aside okay now with our paint stir sticks I've taken and I have measured these to inches and cut them off at nine inches so all of these are at the nine inch mark. We're going to turn them on the ruled side just like so. And there are nine of these. Excuse me, seven of these. Okay, now I want them about one quarter inch apart. Yep, that's about a quarter inch apart. I'm going to keep those just like so. I'm going to eyeball this. You can measure them precisely if you'd like. And you can also use your L ruler if you'd like. That would be fine as well. They're nice and even. There we go. Okay. Nice and square. All right, then I'm going to take the popsicle sticks. And we're going to take some hot glue. And we're going to just put them on like so. And we're only going to need about three of these, actually. We'll use four. Well, no, we'll use three. We'll go ahead and use just three of these to secure the back of this. What I'm going to do first is now that we have them lined up with our L ruler, I'm going to take three of the jumbo craft sticks. I'm just going to get some wood glue on here. Just a little bit. You don't need too much. Just like so. Go ahead. Add a little bit of hot glue. And you just have to make sure that all of your sticks are protected so they're nice and strong. Awesome. Again, we want to make sure our spacing is spot on. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to let this dry. We're going to go ahead and we're going to measure our bicycle sign right to our piece just like that you want to make sure everything we may have to cut this in half and add the words in another area i might do that guys i'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll be right back cut our calendar sign down to one inch on away on the top and bottom and then on the sides it's an eighth of an inch so what I'm going to do is we're going to take our wood glue we're going to 
put a little bit here on our sign just like so and what I like to do guys is I like to take a paintbrush and I like to make sure that it's smoothed out just so we don't have those glue lumps in our picture just like this I do this with all of my projects we don't want those ugly glue lumps in there okay now I always eyeball this as well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eyeball this to the center of our board good okay I like that there we go just like that okay move it over okay I think that looks pretty good awesome okay now what we're gonna do is any glue that I've missed I'll go ahead and I'll touch that up just like this just gonna touch it up so it lays flat for us okay, just like that okay. all right that looks pretty good now we're going to take our exacto knife also use your box cutters i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use this very carefully and i'm just going to cut down each slat of our sign just like so separate these and we'll be right back have these cleared off and some spots are rough but that's good because that's the look we're going for we're going for that good vintage look and so what i'm going to do now is we're going to take some of the waverly antique wax and we're going to pour just a wee bit on my little palette here. I love these palette sheets. They're from the Dollar Tree. And they work wonderful. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take our paintbrush. A good size one. Nice thick one. And you might want to lay a paper towel under your work as well. So you don't get it all over your surface of your table. So we're going to do this just like so. I'm going to take some of this wax. Now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fold this paper towel up like so. Get rid of these other things. And I'm just going to cover just like that. And it looks really dark. Don't let it freak you out because it looks really dark, like it's going to cover up the entire piece, and it's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're just going to just like that. And it brings it through just enough just like that and I always pick up and don't rub on my pieces that I stain with the Waverly just like so pick up just like that and it gives it just enough of that hint to make it look vintage okay gonna go ahead and get this finished and I have this spring sticker and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right on here like so. Just like that. This is adorable. Love it. I am super happy with the way this turned out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a jute bow, excuse me, a jute hanger on the back. And this is going to hang and I think it looks adorable. All right. And on to DIY number two. And for DIY number two, I made this boho gnome back in January of 2021, so a little over a year ago. It was for a challenge, a boho challenge with twine. And so I made this, and I thought this little guy turned out absolutely wonderful. And he was so much fun to make. So there he is. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to kind of do the spring twist version on that. And we're going to see how that works out. So I have this styrofoam wreath that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I believe it's the 8-inch wreath. 
and also we're going to be using this mainstay yarn that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree and I do believe this is a Walmart product and I have one of my styrofoam cones that I purchased on Amazon okay I'll leave the links to these things down in my description below first thing we're going to do I want to open this up this all up here we have to find the end we're going to take the end and we're just going to start to wrap this around our wreath, just like so. Just like this. First, we're going to secure the end with a little bit of hot glue. If you want to use your finger protectors or your spatula for this, that would be awesome. That way you don't burn your fingers. But you want to hold it just for a minute and let it set. Then you're going to come around with your yarn. And you're going to keep going just like that. Okay. And every, every now and then you're going to want to dab it just with a little bit of your hot glue. With my new scissors. All right, they work good. And we're just going to do this. Now, I'm going to say this. I mean, no disrespect to any company or anything like that, but I can absolutely see why this ended up at our Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 Tree, whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm going to take my spatula, guys, and I'm going to really glue this down this yarn is very very hard to work with it frays it you have cotton all over the place when you're working with it i'm not a big fan okay as you can see right here it pulls and i don't want to set my lighter to it like you would jute twine because lord you may cause a fire so i don't want to do that just try to get this down as well as i can just like so now but I'm going to carry on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this, this looks wintry to me now, and I'm not really digging that at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it look springy, but first we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover our cone with this, ooh, I don't even know what I want to call it. I'm not a fan, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this project anyway. <laughs> so here we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead, put our cone down like so, okay? Bring this in a little bit closer. There we go. I'm going to bring our cone like so. Okay. Now, hot glue. Like that. And start like this. I'm going to put a lot of hot glue on this bottom base. And as I go, I'm going to kind of roll this, guys, because this is just, yeah. A lot of hot glue, just like so. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go all the way around our base here. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this upper cone. I'll be right back. So we have our little cone finished. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this really tight right in our wreath, just like so, just like that. If you want to put glue on here, you can do so. I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to slap some glue right on there. Like so I'm bring this up. And we're going to do Let that set a minute. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get our nose. Okay. We're going to make a little gnome. We're going to make this spring, believe it or not. It's looking pretty wintry right now, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this spring. Go ahead and we're going to use this brown beard and I've cut it to a four by four square. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just glue it to our styrofoam wreath just like so okay 
I'm literally going to put glue all over this piece, just like so. Normally, I would only glue the top. I'm going to lay it down like so. Take it like this. We're going to put it right about there, just like that. Perfect. You want your faux fur to fall over your gnome, just like that. Now, make sure it's good and set right in. Okay. Okay. Now we want to put our nose on, just like that, but right there, right in the faux fur. Okay. A little bit of hot glue. This is just a ball that I got off of Amazon. Okay. We're going to go right in there, just right there with it. Okay. Now. We want to make this springy. We want to get that spring in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some ribbon, some bright green ribbon with polka dots. And I purchased this at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to go right around the beard. Okay, we're going to totally switch that up. I went to put that green ribbon around here, guys. It did not look right at all. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these little blue daisies that I have, and I'm going to cut off the stem just right down to there where it's nice and flat. And we're going to glue one here, okay, just with some hot glue, just like so. We'll glue one right here. It sets right in there nice, okay. So let it set for a second. We're going to repeat that right here. Right like that. And I have these little blue butterflies that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Try something here. These are little like foam stickers. I am loving the Dollar Tree's foam products this year. They are really coming up with some good ones. And we're going to set that about right there, just like so. Okay. Just like that. All right. Okay, I think that's absolutely adorable. I think it speaks spring with the little butterfly and the two daisies there. We're going to call this a finished DIY. I do absolutely think this is adorable. Okay, and on to DIY number three. And for DIY number three, back in, let me see, it was Spring of 2021, I created a teacup and saucer gnome. It was my first one. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a spin on that, and we're going to make this super springy today. So what we're going to do is I have a four-inch piece of a pool noodle. I just cut it right off, and I have this piece of material. This is just a scrap piece of material I had laying around. As you can see, it's been sewn on before. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this like so, and I'm going to roll it around. I want to put a little bit of hot glue right here. And guys, if you get a chance, go check out the playlist. So much talent and inspiration. And I want to thank Amanda, Brenda, and Chantel for hosting this awesome challenge. It's my first one back since my sister-in-law's passing, and I've just had a blast. It really feels good to get back in the swing. Okay, so we're going to go just like this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna cut this off. And I want to cut it to where I can still give it a cuff at the side here. Okay, what I'm going to do, we're going to take this just like this, and I'm just going to cuff it in, fold it in like so, and then give it a nice clean edge. Just like that. Okay, so there we go. There's our edge. All right. Now, 
I want to tuck this in as much as possible. Get our glue on here, hot glue. We're going to tuck this in just like so. Just like that. I'm going to hold these down. Now, simply tuck that in. We'll give it a little bit of hot glue. As you can hear, we still have our dogs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just like that. So you have that pretty, pretty material on there. I just think this is beautiful. Some little bees. That's nice and springy. But what we're going to do with this little gal here is we're going to make a couple of ponytails with the yarn we used in our previous project. Now guys, this ought to be real simple because this was, woo, this yarn is not easy to work with. But I am going to go ahead and I'm going to cut some just long strips to make some braids. I'm going to cut six of these off, guys. Yeah, I am not a fan of this yarn. Um, yeah. Okay. So, three. That's our pappy on you here barking. Four. Five. And six. There we go. Okay. I have our braids made. Now what we're going to do, this is the one thing I did like this pretty good for, this yarn. It made some cute little gnome braids. So I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to, right here is where we're going to put our glue. Okay. Right up here. I just thought we'd make a gal today because if we don't, it's going to look a little bit funny with the pansies and such. So okay, keep that right up there. And then I'm going to tack it with a little hot glue right here, guys. Just about right there. There we go. Just like that. I love these gnomes. You know they weren't my favorite. I started the gnome thing by accident and my video went viral and it was like, oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> I just, and so now I just, I love them. So they're fun to make and everyone seems to enjoy them and I love making them. So. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. We're going to go ahead and tack that right there. There we go. All right. Now, what we're going to do with this little fella, we're going to put this right on top, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. I think that's so cute. Little flower pot head. Okay, so I'm going to get this glued down and we'll be right back. We're going to take our little ball here. We're going to go ahead and get it all up in here like so. Right there, just like that. I'm going to have to hold it on a second with this, guys, because it's against that material. Okay, and you can cover up any glue that you might see with flowers, with bows. Make it your own. Make it your own. These are so cute. These little flower pot gnomes. I'd also like to try to make some with um, the uh, little polyfill beads that I got the other day as well. I'd really like to see how those would make one of these flower pot gnomes. It may be just a bit more flexible. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put a little bit of ivy here. Okay. Just like so. Just like that. Attach a little ivy. I'm going to put it right here. It's going to cover up some of this glue. Just like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a little matchy matcherton here. I want to match my flowers and my little butterfly to this. Okay, 
Here's the flower again. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut off So, and I want to put this right over here like this. Just like that. It's nice and stuck down. Okay. Just like so. There she is so far. I think she's adorable. Now let's get some. Accents in here a little bit of a little bit of uh, baby's breath put that right on our put it Right back there just like so this is so cute. Oh, that's adorable. Just like that Really really cute okay. Get all these glue strings now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a butterfly right about here there we go yep, right there just another little dot of glue just for that added extra security let's put this right up here there we go just like that adorable absolutely adorable I love this this turned out better than I thought I'm really digging it now I'm gonna put let me see, a couple more sprigs of the baby's breath up here a little bit. Then we're going to put a couple bows on and we're going to call this a finished DIY. Okay, friends, how cute is this gal? I think she turned out absolutely adorable. I just took a little bit of blue gingham and um, actually I think it's the eighth inch and just tied some shoestring bows, attached those. We put our little flower here so it matches our hanging gnome and a little butterfly right here. Now I have this little sticker that says bloom. Now I purchased these at a garage sale, but I want to put this now. I'm sorry I'm turning this guys, but I want this to be like really where I want it to be here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this like this. It's going to be kind of off to the side, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll kind of get the message there. All right. I want it down further. Oh no. Okay. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go just like this and we're going to put bloom. There we go. Just like that. I absolutely think this is adorable. I like it off to the side because you can tell it says something there. Bloom. I think that's so stinking cute. Love the way this turned out. There we go. And don't forget to go check out everyone's channels. Check out the playlist. I have the links in my description box below. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead, give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.